I know I'm a terrible, terrible YouTuber. What's up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing episode 2 of my newest series called Archetype 101s and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new archetype which I will be putting into the first couple of starter galaxies or starter decks for my trading card game, the Chaos Galaxy. Now this archetype is from the planet Shios. They're called the Shiosian Lava Beasts and they are the counterpart to the Polysium Starter Galaxies archetype called the Nano Rays and Zeta Rays. And if you haven't seen the Archetype 101 video for these guys yet, then I suggest you check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Also, I know I haven't uploaded for like almost two months now, which is appalling of me. Um, I do have my reasons and I'm going to do a whole separate video on that when I get the huge project that I've had to hand in for university back for me and I'm going to show you all the stuff I've done from that because it's pretty cool, I'm really proud of the work I've done um, and it's why I haven't been making cards lately um, but yeah, I'll show you that in a different video for now, I'm going to show you the Shiosian Lava Beasts but like I said, these will be in the Shios Starter Galaxy that I'm working on and it's a set of creatures who are all from the planet Shios as you can probably tell. If you don't know the playstyle for the planet Shios, because every planet has a different type of playstyle, Shios creatures generally have high power and low health, and they're focused on getting as many points as you can as quickly as possible in the game at all costs, so you can win the game as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now the first one we have is a 5 star creature, he's common, and he's obviously from the planet Shios, he's got 260 power and 200 health, and here's his artwork. Um, the printer that I'm using at the moment at university isn't very good, so the artwork for all these cards hasn't come out as good as I'd, hasn't come out as well as I'd have liked it to. So here is his original artwork. As you can tell, it looks a lot better than the image there. But when I eventually print, get these cards printed out by an actual printing company, then they're definitely gonna look a lot better. But his ability reads: When this card attacks and kills an opponent's creature, kill one attachment card on either player's creature, or kill this card. And this is sort of the basic formula for all the Shiosian Lava Beasts. They have an ability that will activate when it attacks and kills an opponent's creature and then it will either do something or the Shiozian Lava Beast will kill itself. This is a good ability generally, um, you know, killing attachment cards is, genu is generally good if you can kill cards that your opponent has to make their guys stronger or to make your guys weaker. Unfortunately, if they don't have any attachment cards out, then you'll have to kill one of your own, which kind of sucks, or the crocodile is going to kill himself, but generally it's a good ability and this is, this is sort of the basis for the way all the Shiozian Lava creatures work. Second card is Shiozian Lava Crab. He's quite a lot weaker than Crocodile, he's just got 100 power and only 40 health, but he's only got two stars, so he's quite easy to play. And his ability reads, when this card attacks and kills an opponent's creature, you double his power. Now, his ability doesn't allow him to kill himself because doubling your power, you know, you're never gonna be unable to do that. So yeah, he's the second one. Again, quite basic. Uh, I'll show you his original artwork too, because he looks pretty cool, and the brown didn't seem to come out so well on the printer. Um, but there he is. There's his original artwork. And then card number three. Now this one's really cool. This is going to be where a lot of your combo moves come in if you're using the Shiozian Lava Beasts. And it is Shiozian Lava Bat. He's a rare, as you can tell by the rare there, and the red stars that he has. He's got 160 power, which isn't bad, and he's got 90 health, uh, which may need some help, but here's his artwork. And here is his original artwork. And he reads, When this card attacks and kills an opponent's creature, obviously, um, free play one of your dead five star or less Shiozian lava creatures to either player's planet or kill this card. So this can bring back Shiozian lava creatures as powerful as Crocodile, which is really good. You just bring it back for free if Bat attacks and kills something. However, if you unfortunately draw him at the start of a game, forget about his ability and attack something whilst you have no dead Shiozian Lava creatures then Bat's going to kill himself. Um, but a really cool thing I like about this is that it lets you bring back creatures to either player's planet. So say you have a crocodile and a bat on your planet and you have a dead crab. Now let's just say for archetype's sake you're playing against uh, a nano ray player. So your bat goes and kills that nano ray and then you get to bring back your crab. But let's say your opponent has an attachment card that you want to get rid of. You know, it could be a KO attached to your crocodile to make its health zero, um, and you want to get rid of that. So what you can do with Bat's ability, instead of bringing back the crab to your planet, you can bring it back to your opponent's planet, and then kill it with crocodile, and then crocodile's ability will activate, allowing you to get rid of that annoying attachment card. So it's a really cool combo that you can do with Bat. A lot of the time you are going to be bringing back creatures to your own planet but you, it's really nice to always have that option to bring back cards to your opponent's planet and then kill them with stronger Shiozian Lava Beasts to get their abilities. 
So yeah, that's going to be a really key card if you're using the Shiozian Lava Beasts. Okay, next up is a really interesting card, um, Shiozian Lava Panther. And he's a 4 star but has ridiculously high power and health for that with 280 and 260. Which is more like a, is closer to a 5 or 6 star than a 4 star. But his ability reads, if this card attacks and kills an opponent's creature, you kill one card on your planet or kill this card. So although he has high stats, he has quite a bad ability. Which is unfortunate, however, if you have something like a KO on your planet, um, his ability can be good. So you kill an opponent's creature and then kill a card on your own planet. Oh, I'm going to kill my own KO. Or you can kill the panther instead. And here is his original artwork. Also, there is another way you can make the most of panther's generally bad ability, which I'll show you later in the video. And next up, it's pretty much the moment you've all been waiting for. The boss of the Shiozian Lava Beasts. Now he's got 8 stars, 490 power and 300 health. He's a really rare and he's going to be the cover card for the Shios Galaxy that I'm going to be releasing. His name is Shiozian Lava Behemoth. Um, and his artwork is quite complicated and glittery so it's quite hard to see in this light. But again, I'm going to show you his original artwork which I'm very very proud of. And there he is. It's a really big drawing because I wanted to get all the detail in the lava and the spikes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I really like the way he's come out, and with 490 power and 300 health, I think the artwork has done it justice. Also, his ability reads, when this card attacks and kills an opponent's creature, you can remove any one empty zone from your opponent's planet or kill this card. So again, that's generally going to be really good because your opponent is most likely going to have empty zones at some point in the game. And yes, this is the leader of all the Shiozian, that's not Shiozian Lava Beasts, of all the uh, Shiozian Lava Beasts I have made so far. Okay, so now that I've shown you all the creatures, I'm going to get on to showing you some resource cards and support cards for the archetype. So the first one we have is Shiozian Lavering Hole. It's like a watering hole, but with lava. Um, and as you can see in the artwork, you've got some bats up there, you've got a crocodile, oops, you've got a crocodile in the river and some crabs there, and then a big behemoth's foot in the way. And this card reads, and this card is a permanent resource, it's also common, and it reads, all Shiozian lava creatures on your planet gain 50 health, which is good because they generally have lower health than they do power. They also can't be killed by their own abilities, which, which is good in general. However, this card makes Panther really, really good because you have the 280 power and 260 health, um, which will be 310 with Lava and Coal, and you'll pretty much have no bad repercussions from that. And then as well as that, when a Shiozian Lava creature attacks and kills an opponent's creature, you gain one star. Which is perfect for playing some of your stronger creatures, like Crocodile and Behemoth. So that's Shiozian Lava and Hole. A really good card that has quite a few abilities to just help out your Shiozian Lava Beasts. Okay, next up we have Shiozian Lava Target, which is the last card specific to the Shiozian Lava Beasts. And this is also a permanent resource, it's also a common, and it reads... You must play this card in an opponent's creature zone. This has a bit of a weird ability, but it's pretty cool and unique. So you must play it in an opponent's creature zone as a Shios creature with zero power and zero health. So I'll just do an example. If you have, um, let's just say you've got a bat and a behemoth on your planet. So you play it to your opponent's planet and it's got zero power and health. And then, whenever it's attacked and killed by a Shiozian Lava creature, so see your bat goes and kills it, there you go, it's dead, then you gain one point, and then also you'll get bat's ability to bring back something like a crab. It then reads, if it's killed by an attack, then you automatically play the card again, unless your opponent pays three stars. So, like I said before, you can kill it with bat, because it's got zero health, it dies, and you get your crab back. Then, because it died, unless your opponent pays three stars, comes back again, you can kill it with your behemoth, remove any zone from your opponent's planet, it dies, unless your opponent pays three stars again, it keeps coming back, and then you can keep doing these crazy combos, keep attacking it because it's got zero health, and doing loads of weird things with your Shiozian Lava Beasts. So yeah, if you go up against a Shiozian Lava target, then you're definitely going to want to pay the three stars and get rid of it as soon as you can. Next up, I'm just going to show you some support cards for the archetype, so cards that I've already released. Um, so cards that I've already made that can just work well with the archetype. First of all we have quite an obvious one which is Blaze Elixir, which that's any creature with under 300 power. So Crab, Bat, Panther and Crocodile. You attach it to them and then it can battle twice per turn. 
So Blaze Elixir is definitely a must-have in a Shiozian Lava Galaxy. Next up, you're going to want to be able to, to weaken your opponent's cards because creatures like Bat and Crab that have low power are going to struggle generally to kill things. So you're going to want to use cards like KO or Crash Landing on your opponent's creatures just so it makes it a bit easier for your weaker Lava Beasts to get around them. And because the Shios creatures generally have lower health, you're going to want to uh, protect them with cards like Galactahelm, gives a creature 70 health, and cards like Firewall. Now, you may wonder why this card is purple now, as it was an activator which used to be red. That's because I changed them because I'm an idiot and, and accidentally made attachment cards and activators the same colour. So yeah, Firewall just stops your opponent from attacking Shios creatures and then Galactelm can just make their health a bit better. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is some cards that you're going to want to stay away from or get rid of as quickly as possible if you're using Shiozian Lava Beasts. First of all, cards that can stop your creatures attacking. Uh, cards, things like Ice Elixir, which stops cards entering battle zones, or Warp Hole Territory, which stops any creature with five stars or more from entering battle zones, stopping your Crocodile and Behemoth. And then another quite obvious sounding thing um, is that you're really going to want to avoid cards that you can't kill. So if you have a panther on your planet and you think, right, this has enough power to get past most things, and then your opponent goes and plays a death with 340 health, your Shiozian Lava creatures aren't going to be able to kill that death and get their abilities off, which sucks. So yeah, watch out for things with high health and things that can lower your power. Because basically, you need to be able to kill things, otherwise you can't get your abilities off. So yeah guys, that was the newest archetype for the second galaxy that I will eventually be selling at some point, and they were the Shiozian Lava Beasts. Let me know what you think of them, let me know if you like them, let me know if you hate them. Um, also let me know what you prefer, if you think you would rather own the Shios Galaxy with the Shiozian Lava Beasts, or the Palisium Galaxy with the Nano Rays and Zeta Rays. Let me know which your favourite Shiozian Lava Beast is, and apart from that I've got nothing to say but to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying subscribed over the past two months when I haven't been putting out any content. It's just been really difficult. And like I said, I'll make a video on that. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Bye.